drag queens say the darndest things. So we decided to school you all in some drag queen terminology. Cece, you ready? Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Let's go, right. girl. Let's do it, girl. All right, let's start with the word hunty. Hunty, a term of endearment originates from an inventive pairing of the words honey and a certain C word that we can't say here. <laughs> hunty, is it just me or does your weave come from the R5 store? Oh, wait, you don't stop there anymore. I got too expensive. Girl. That was a read. <laughs> Next, work. A term meaning to work your body, to strut, especially on a runway, to give an outstanding presentation. Better work. If you are going to take on a Diana Ross routine, then you better work, bitch. Yes. <laughs> Shade. Shade, the casting of aspersions, a form of insult, bluntly pointing out a person's flaws or faults, derived from the term reading. Ooh, no tea, no shape of plastic surgery wouldn't be the worst thing to happen to you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Cece. I'm supposed to be the host. I'm supposed to be focused and I can't with you. Ah. La, library, library. An activity in which drag queens are invited to read other queens, referring to the fact that you read in a library. <laughs> the library is open because reading is what? Fundamental. <laughs> Realness. Realness. The act of appearing to be convincingly realistic, authentic, or accurate. The act of being extremely blunt, frank, or honest. If you have a chair wig, chair makeup, and you can imitate her singing voice, then you are serving chair realness. Yes, you are, chair. Yes, you are. <laughs> Do you believe in love? Okay, no. All right. <laughs> Listen, on a side note, you know the other day I went to the gathering and somebody thought I was a drag queen, right? And I thought it was the biggest compliment, like, on earth. Just to let everybody know. Okay. That's a, that's because, a big boobs, honey. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Maybe it was the big boobs or the big hair. All right. Next. <laughs> for boy. the gods. For the gods. Abbreviated use of the phrase fit for the gods. Phrase that qualifies an act done to perfection. That dress is gliding to her like a second skin because it is tailored to the gods. You know what, bitch? Clinging, clanging, whatever you say, it sounds good. Okay, yes, I don't sir. care. I, I love it. I like love I, it. Like I usually say, English is not my first language. I'm uh, German, so if I, I make anything it. up or say anything wrong, excuse you, because I don't give a shit. <laughs> yep, exactly. And it should never. And you don't have to give an S. It's completely fine. I love it. All right, because you fishy. That's the next word, fishy. Generally used to refer to a queen who seems real in terms of femininity. It is also possible to serve fish, meaning the queen is going for a particularly girly look. This queen is so fishy, she can easily pass for a 90s Halle Berry. Mm -hmm. A 90s Halle Berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the guy probably thought about you in the, the club the other night. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. You know how many Halle Berries it would take to make this six foot tall Amazon? About four. All right, next. The five G's. An acronym mean, meaning, good God, get a grip, girl. The term was originally coined on the show by season four contestant and South Florida girl, Latrice Royale. The five G's, please. Good God, get a grip, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, Cece, for being our guest today and staying for our funny ending segment. We love you. We can't wait to have you back. For all you folks watching, make sure that you go to the gathering when you come down to South Florida to visit. Uh, she's there two nights a week, and now, more than ever, she's there at the gathering. So you should go check her out. I mean, it, her shows are amazing. She's so funny. She's so relatable, and like you will have a blast with her no matter what. So trust me. Right, Cece?